not already done so, sliding them all the way up to that nice divot point between bicep and tricep and getting our cycles going. I'm Laurel, I'm here from Santa Monica, California in my living room. And we have a fun, highly, highly cardio-centric workout going for us today. So we're gonna get our heart rate pumping, we're gonna get some sweat going and we're gonna feel really great after. Uh, per usual, everything we do has a modification. So if something seems completely unreasonable to start, don't worry, there's always options and you can modify however feels best for your body. So go ahead and get your cycle started. If you do not already have water, please grab some. And I just like to note to please restart your cycle between each set of exercises we do. That way you don't get any lag time when you're in the middle of the set. So that being said, everyone rise on up to stand. And let's go ahead and just start by waking up the spine a little bit. So hands behind the head. We're going to twist over to the right and to the left. And as you do this, keep pulling your elbows back behind you. Slight engagement of the core. So you can twist out as much range of motion as possible. And if anyone has any questions, comments, feedback at any point in time throughout the workout, go ahead and unmute yourself, give me a shout, or feel free to throw something in the chat. And come back up to center, arms out to the sides like a scarecrow or a cactus. Keep pressing your elbows back behind you, create resistance, and then start to slowly reach your fingertips all the way up and then re-bend into the arms. So this is where the bands can start pumping, creating that resistance in your body, moving slowly, keep pressing the elbows back all the way up, full range of motion. And bring it back down. Let's do three more. Opening up the chest, opening up the shoulders as we build the muscles of the back, nice posture muscles. We have two. Good. And final one. Go ahead and reach those arms up. Circle them around a couple times. Open everything up. And then let's make our way onto our mat for our first exercise of the day, which is going to be forearm work. So coming on down to your mat or your floor space, it is a fingertip walkout. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come onto my fingertips, I'm not on my palms, and staying only on the tips of my fingers for 30 seconds, you're gonna walk all the way out and walk all the way back in. So what we're doing is we're starting to work the forearms and it's not gonna be as big of a range of motion as you might think. So walking all the way out and all the way back in and time starts now. Um. And as you do this, you want to try and keep your butt from shifting back towards your heels. So keeping those hips back, we walk all the way out, and we walk all the way back in. If this just does not feel good on your forearms, you can go ahead and come up and just do good wrist curl. Okay? So either way, we're half done with our first one. And last 10. Walk it out. And walk it back in. Good. We have five, four, three two, and one. Go ahead and give the wrist a roll. Release them. And for our second set, you can either keep walking out or in, or you can come onto your palms and try something a little bit different, just coming up onto the fingertips and coming back down. Coming up onto the fingertips and coming back down. So setting ourselves up, hips over knees, Second set, either walking your hands all the way out, notice my upper body, my hips don't move, and walking back in, or just coming up on the tips of the fingers and releasing back down to the palms. Either way, forearms are starting to work, maybe noticing some veins. Sometimes the arms, the hands turn a slightly darker color as we're doing our arm movements, and that's a good thing. We want that. Last 10. Good. We have five. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a twirl. So, because we're doing a cardio-centric day, between each exercise that we do today, we're going to do a cardio burst. 
So come on up to stand and I'll show you the first couple moves of our cardio, okay? So it's 30 seconds each. The first one is cross body butt kick. So I go side to side. And you can either jump or you can just tap, okay? So I'll demonstrate and then we'll do them all together. The second one is called star jump. I get small, jump up, small, jump up. And if that jump isn't working, get small, rise, small, and rise. But I wanna see you try, if you can, to get that starfish jump going in there. It's hard, it's really hard. The last part is lateral hop. I go side to side, side to side. If you need to, you can keep a foot down the whole time, okay? So, first 30 seconds, cross body butt kick. I'm gonna do the first set with you, let's get going. See if you can get a little jump going in there. All right. Now, as we do this, I'm gonna see who we've got with us today. Cool. Last 10. Diane's already flying. Good. In five, we're gonna come into star jumps. We have four, three, two. Get small, up, down, up. 30 seconds, go. <laughs> you get to pick the pace. See if you can keep moving the entire time, even if that's a slow movement, as long as you're moving. Last 10. Good. In five, we're going to come into lateral hop. We have four, three, two, and one. Hop it side to side. Let's go. Try and stay light on those toes. Hop as far over as you can. Pick up that pace. Woo! Today's just one of those days. It's gonna be sweaty. Good for our bodies. Half done. You can do whatever you want with your arms. I have mine out by my side. You can also go straight out. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Big sip of water. Because we're doing a lot of cardio today, I want us to make sure that we're all taking little sips of water, staying hydrated, especially because we have our bands on. So while you take your sip of water, I'm gonna demonstrate our next move. And fun fact, before I ever was a fitness trainer, I was actually a yoga instructor. So this next move is an ode to yoga. And I'll angle this down so you can see. It's called, Downward facing dog, plank to chaturanga. So I'll walk us through it together. I come into what's called downward facing dog, my hips up and back. I shift my weight forward into a plank position. Now, there are two types of push-ups. There's one push-up where my elbows come out to the side. That's not what we're doing today. Today it's called a tricep push-up, also known as chaturanga. So my elbows shoot straight back behind me. I push back up, my hips come up and back. So I shift forward, halfway down, right back up, all the way back. Totally cool to drop the knees. Now what I want to make sure happens is that your arms stay glued to the midline of the body the whole time. Tricep work, okay? So let's make our way up into a downward facing dog and we're going to take the first 30 seconds together so we can get used to it. So lift your hips up and back, shift the weight forward into plank, drop halfway down, Press back up, hips up and back. Shift forward, halfway down. All the way up, hips up and back. Totally cool to drop the knees at any point. Keep rolling, last 10. And as you drop down into that tricep push-up, and also known as chaturanga, I want your back to stay completely straight. No dipping hips. We have four, three, two, and one. Give the wrist a break. Give the arms a shake. Yoga can be kind of hard. <laughs> All right. Second set. Go ahead and make your way into downward facing dog. Hips up and back. This is a nice opportunity to also get a nice hamstring stretch as well as work our sh shoulder mobility. So really push the floor away from you. We're going to start in three, two, one. Shift forward. Halfway down. Right back up. Hip back. That's the stuff. Good. 
And when you drop into that halfway lower, I want you to keep your core so engaged because that's what keeps that good form. Nice. Gabe, I love it. Last 10. See if you can do one more. Good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone, press your hips up and back into downward facing dog together. Good. Now we're going to jump right into our next heart rate boost round. But today we're doing two rounds of different things. For this one, it's a wide knee mountain climber. So instead of bringing my knees into my nose, think knees out to the side. Up, 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 up. We have 30 seconds. Wide knee mountain climbers, go. Try and keep the upper body stable. Shoulders are not sawing and rocking. I'm getting those legs up. I'm using my core. I'm using my shoulders to push the floor away from me. My heart rate is flying. Fantastic. Half done. Make sure you're breathing. See if you can slow your breathing down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two. Everybody drop your knees. Give those shoulders a roll. All right. Last part of our upper body work, we have a forearm plank. Now, typically we do our planks for a minute. We're growing, we're getting stronger as a team. So today we're gonna do our planks for 90 seconds. If at any point you get tired, you can't do it, just tap your knees down and jump right back into it. It's fine. The best thing we can do is give it our best effort at that time. So for our plank today, we're gonna come into a forearm plank, give the wrist a rest. So step on back. I'm gonna start my time right now. Good. And then once you're in your forearm plank, making sure we have nice good form. So my shoulders are stacked over my elbows. I want to create traction by pulling my heels back, top of the head forward. And because planks can be kind of boring, let's play. So if you want, start to lift alternating legs. Woo. We're going to do 10 seconds of each of our play moves. There we go. Making sure the hips don't pike up. Mine started to lift. Good. We have four, three, two, one. Now, if you want to play, rocking hips side to side. All right. Woo! We are more than half done. We've got this. Good. Keep rocking. Now, in four, we're going to come back into center and hold. Three, two, hold it. 30 seconds left. You can do it. If you need to tap the knees down, tap them down, take it right back up. Come back into traction, heels back, top of the head forward. 20 more seconds, come into your breathing, see if you can slow it down. All right, plank option. Hover the knees off the floor, straighten the back. Hover, lift, hover, lift. 10 more seconds of our plank together, then we're all gonna rest. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees, pull your butt back to your heels, Take child's pose. Let your forehead rest on or towards the mat. And take a deep breath. Good job. And if 90 seconds of plank was easy, cool. We can keep challenging ourselves and do different moves. If 90 seconds of plank was not possible, that is fine. That gives us a goal, something to work towards. Now start to shift your weight forward. Give your hips a circle, one direction. Move them around the other direction. And then let's go ahead, take a sip of water, pop those armbands off, and we'll move on to our legs. If anyone has questions or anything they'd like to share, um, while we're swapping out our bands, I know we have people from California. We have Boston. If Kyle is here, we have South Korea. Yesterday, we had Arizona and Colorado. John's not here from Florida, so I don't know if anyone's representing is there anyone else on here from a place that I didn't mention? Illinois. Woo, Illinois, nice. Anywhere else? All right. Good. So as you put your leg bands on, if you can with the balance, I'd like you to come up to stand. So it's only a good idea to put our leg bands on with the muscles slightly engaged, and then we can come down to sit and tighten them up from there. 
I'm sliding those leg bands all the way up to hip creases. I have dark pants on, so it's a little bit hard to see, but take them as high as you can. And then find the outer edge of that tubing, pull it up towards your hip bone. All right. And we'll start in about 30 seconds. Grab a sip of water. Okay. Time to go. Get that cycle started. And let's do it. So first up, just like arms, smaller muscles to bigger muscles. We are going to fire up our calves to begin. I call this a heel lift to chair sit. So I lift both my heels off the floor. I drop down into a chair position and I rise back up, okay? I'd like you to try and keep the heels lifted the whole time, down and up. If that's not happening, that's totally fine. You can lift your heels, take a little bend in your knees, come up, drop them down. Heels come up, knees bend, up and down, okay? So working into whatever variation is good for your body today, two 30 second sets, time starts now. So when my heels come up and I get as low as I can and I rise back up without letting my heels drop. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Challenging the balance, challenging the calves. Keep going. Let's check that form. Bonnie looks good. George, I like it. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, step the right foot back, drop your heel down, get a calf stretch. And foot sides, left heel back. And we're gonna begin our second set in three, two, one, heels up down and up and this time at the bottom of our 30 seconds we're going to work into it good see if you can get those heels even higher core is engaged for balance last 10. uh-huh in five we're going to rise to stand and keep our heels up we have three two heels stay up little pulses down and up eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, lower halfway down, all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up, three more. And two, last one, and rest. It's not getting a little extra work there. All right, heart rate boost, number one, cross, bot, cross body butt kicks, 30 seconds, let's go. All right, get those heels all the way up. Pick up the pace if you want. Good, in 10, we've got star jump. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes in and we jump up, in, up, in. That's the step. Whoop, losing my device, keep going. <laughs> Woo, get those arms up. I see Shanna just bobbing up and down. Yes. Amazing, Christy. Last 10. Woo. In five, we're going to come into lateral hops. We have four, three, two, and hop. Side to side. Try and keep one foot off the floor the whole time if you can. Then you can pick up the pace. Maybe take the hands behind your head. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's it. Light on those toes. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. Next exercise sumo squat to squat pulse. I step my feet slightly wider than hip distance. I drop down, up, down, up. Hands. Just the legs. Hands reach, 
palms together, okay? Two 30 second sets. Let's go. Toes angled out. Hands, palms, hands, palms. My weight is in my heel, my butt shifts back. Nice straight spine. As low as you can go. Palms, keep it up. Half done. Woo. All right. Nice, Diane. So, Kayleen, go even. Kyle's got it. It's like four in the morning his time for four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right. Set those feet wide. Angle the toes out. Now, test your balance. See if you can pick your toes up off the floor. That is how I want my weight distribution to be. So, keeping the weight as it is, drop your toes down. Second set, here we go. Hands, palms, hands, palms. If you need to move faster, move faster. That's it. Chest up, none of this slouchy stuff. Gotta keep good posture always. Yes, I see speeding, good. Check that weight, is it in your heels? Last 10, hands, palms, we have eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Everyone come up to stand. Heart rate boost number two. Make your way onto hands and knees. Come into plank position. We have wide legged mount climbers. 30 seconds. Out, 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 out. Here we go. Now keep pressing the floor away from your shoulders are active. After this, we're going to take a pause and sip of water. So give it all you've got. 10 seconds left. Let me see you sprint. Go, go, go. Eight, seven, six, three, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop up to stand. Keep moving. Grab your water. Take pause. We have a minute of rest. Do your best. Keep making away your way around your space. Don't let your body get tense. Keep that lactic acid moving. All right. It is a toasty day in Santa Monica, so I'm hydrating with you. Next move. Watch, and then we'll do. It's a reverse lunge to high knee, so I'm only doing one side. Okay, I'll start with my right side. I lunge back, high knee, back, high knee. Now. Modification is slightly less deep of a lunge, tap, lunge, tap, okay? But if you wanna get your heart rate up, keep it going. I wanna see you go up fast. So it's back, up, back, up. Really get it going, okay? Two sets per side. So we're doing four sets total. Seated under hips, 30 seconds, ready, set, go. Right leg back, up, back, up. Notice that my spine stays straight. I don't hunch over. That's the most important thing we have here. Keep pressing your front heel into the floor for stability. Woo! Ethan's got a kick. I like it. Good job. And I see some people moving at different paces. Some are slower, some are faster, but everyone's doing the same move. And that's exactly what I want to see. Good. Five, four, Three, two, right into the left leg. Take it back, up, back, up. We'll rest after this. I don't care how fast you go. I do care about the form and the form looks awesome. Yes. So what are we doing here? We're working our glutes. We're working our hamstrings. We're working our quads. 15 seconds left. You can do whatever you want with your hands. All right. In 10, we're gonna rest. See if you can do two or three more. We have five, four, three, two. Shake it out, kick it out. You can catch your breath and rest if you want. Optional good morning. Hands across the shoulders. Let's release the hamstrings. A little bend in the knees, down and up. We're gonna do five. Otherwise, just hang out, catch your breath. Just a little extra credit stretch. Nice straight spine for two. And one. All right, right into that right leg. Now, 
Ethan was ahead of the game. If you want a more challenging version this time, you can step back, kick, back, kick, okay? So it can either be high knees or a kick or a tap. All right, 30 seconds, ready, set, go. Back, up, that's the step. As you're doing this, finding a point on the wall or the floor to look at, that'll help you keep your balance. Nice straight spine, chest up, core always engaged. Last 10, then we're gonna jump right into the left side. Woo, good. All right, Len, left side in five, four, three, two, switch it up, other side. Left leg, back, up, back, and up. Sophia and Sydney look good. Christy looks great. Yes. Cassiopeia, big kicks, amazing. Go, Chris, you've got it. Last 10. Come on, Gabe. There we go. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Walk around, shake it out. All right. It's time, gotta keep that heart rate elevated. After this, we'll catch a water break. 30 seconds, cross body butt kicks. Time is going. Doesn't matter if you step or you hop. As long as you get your heels up, you're doing your best. All right, that's it. Go, Michael, cool. Light on those toes, we've got it. Nice, in five, we're gonna go into star jumps, which in my opinion is the hardest thing we're doing today. We have three, two, one. Everybody get small, take it out. I love watching you guys. Just, some people just have their arms popping up and down and I can't see anything else. Yeah, half done. Woo! Last 10 seconds, do as many as you can for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lateral high knees. Last part of our cardio burst. Go. Woo! Step it even wider, maybe. Maybe step it faster. Last 10, all out. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay standing, stay moving. Water sips, group cheers. Okay. Ooh. We are flying through our workout today, which is good. We have plenty of time for core. Okay. Take another 30 seconds or so of rest. We've got two more leg exercises to do with some cardio in between, and then we'll come into our core. So today in the series have squats and lunges, squats and yet lunges, which is what we normally do, but we're alternating each one. So for this one, it's a squat kick. So really opening up my hips. Same position I was in for my squat before, Feet slightly wider than hips, toes angled out. I drop down into a squat, kick. Squat, kick. Speed's up to you, height's up to you. It can be a baby squat, lift. Squat, lift. Or it can be squat, kick, squat, kick, okay? Starting with the right leg only. So we've got four rounds of this, two sets, okay? Let's get ourselves set up. Feet are wider. Right leg starting in three, two, one. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Get those legs up, open up the hips. Nice, good. And the same rule applies, weight is in the heels for that squat. Everybody's doing it. Nice, Diane. You guys inspire me. You're doing so great. Good, we're gonna go right into the other side. Left leg in four, 
three, two, and one. We go squat, kick, squat, kick. Shifting my butt back each time so I don't rock forwards. I go back instead. Chest up. Maybe you want to add a little punch. Why not? <laughs> yes, half done. We're going to take a pause before the second set. All right, keep going, keep going. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Now let's take a squat stretch. Feet wider than hips, toes angled out. Bend into your knees so much so that you can touch your big toes. And then straighten your legs out as much as you can. Now you may or may not be able to straighten your legs, that's fine. I want you to keep your fingers in contact with your toes. Yes. And then let the upper body hang. Shake your head, yes. We can do another set of these. Slowly roll up to stand, straighten your legs on the way up. And we've got our second set, okay? Back into the right leg. Nice position to start, here we go. Squat, kick, squat, kick. I added a punch, because why not? Time's going. Good, nice weight, nice control. So this is not only cardio, it's also strength and mobility. We're using the muscles of our right leg to get that leg all the way up there. And we're using the mobility of our hip joint to get a good range of motion. How high can your leg go? Last 10, and we're going right into the left leg, and this is our last set. We have five, four, three, two. Last one, down, up, down, up. You can add that jump, or you can take that step. Always option for everybody. Woo, I'm getting sweaty. I'm sure you guys are. Awesome, Jeff. Good range. Nice, George. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Hands to hips. Circle them around. Move them around the other way. All right. Come down on the hands and knees. And you can always do these wide mountain climbers on your knees. You don't have to be in plank. The goal is to open up our hips and get our heart rate up. So we want to move fast, but we have to pick a form that's best supportive of our body. So whatever form you pick, knees up or knees down, 30 seconds, go. Wide-legged mountain climbers, up, 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 up. All right. And sometimes as we do this, we tend to hold our breath. See if you can regulate that pace, because if we can keep air flowing in and out of our bodies, then my goodness, we can keep doing really hard work. Len, I can only see your ceiling fan, but I know you're probably doing an awesome job. <laughs> Good evening, Kyle is flying. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. We're familiar with this. We did it. Huddle your legs up. Walk the feet in to meet the hands, roll on up to stand, and we have our last leg exercise of the day. So it's a lunge, twist, and of course there are variations. So one variation of this, and I gotta be careful on my carpet, I might just go sliding right across the floor. Together we all take our hands to our elbows. You can either step, twist, Step, twist, or you can jump, twist, jump, twist, okay? Only the right side, okay? So my right foot comes back and I twist to the right. So you can either step it or jump it, okay? Right leg, first 30 seconds, ready, set, go. And as you come into that twist, I want you to pull your right elbow back as far as you can, come back through center, then come up. So making sure that we're also getting into our spine as we're doing this. 
Oh, I'm seeing some jumps. Nice. Sophia and Sydney on the exact same pace. It's like a dance. I don't know if it's Shana or Shauna. I'm so sorry, but their form is amazing. We have five, four, three, two. Let's go right into that other leg. Either step, over, center, up, back, over, center, up, or jump. Woo! And we do have one more set of these because we're doing so great. Go Kayleen, go! Yes! I mean it, you guys are getting stronger by the day. Cassiopeia, awesome. Go Chris, go, come on. <laughs> All right, Lily. <laughs> we're gonna rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, water all around. Last thing, we can do it. Grab that water. All right. <laughs> okay, so last set. Good setup. Hands to elbows, noticing if your arms start slipping during the workout, try and keep them up, getting in the shoulders as well. Right leg, last set, 30 seconds. Or jump. Woo. Now, as we do this last set, I want us to be mindful of our hips, squeezing our hips and giving our glutes a squeeze so that our hips don't rotate. We really want to isolate the spine. We're going to go into the other side in five, four, three, two, one, last one, last leg. All right, completing that full twist in the lunge position. Instagram looks good, Zoom looks great. Woo, halfway done. Killing it, Chris. <laughs> There's one person who I don't know their name because I just have their email, but whoever C. Mopez is, you look great. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come up, shake it out. Draw some knee circles, open up the hips. And I found a great way for me and my body, and this might apply to you too, is I know that my heart rate is typically in that cardio zone or at least in that elevated heart fat burning zone when my body temperature starts to heat up so if you're ever working out and you don't necessarily have a heart rate monitor you can usually tell that you're in that higher metabolic state based on the temperature of your body so I know right now hopefully we're all feeling pretty toasty so we know that our heart rate's very elevated last cardio burst then we come down for core okay very familiar, we've done this before. 30 seconds, cross body butt kicks. This is the last standing work we're gonna do. So give it what you've got, being mindful of your body. If it hurts, we don't do it. And if you've got it in you, pick up the pace, let's go. Really heat up that body temperature. Ooh. And wherever you are and whatever your body feels like, Congratulate yourself here, because we're doing some really hard work. Good, in five, we're gonna come into star jumps. We have four, three, two, and one. Everybody goes small, and we jump, or we step. Either way. Woo. <laughs> Let me see those arms up, legs up. Yes. We should start a dance team. Everyone looks great. Last 10 seconds, all in, keep going. Arms and legs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lateral hop. Get that core involved. Relax your shoulders. We don't need to be hunching. Half done. Last 10. 
And then we're gonna come down to sit. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and walk it out. Woo. Good. Let's make our way down to sit by working our way into it. Let's go ahead and walk to the top of your mat or your floor space. Before we come down, just a couple times, walk your fingers down your legs and walk your fingers back up. Each time you do it, seeing if you can go a little bit lower, picking your own pace, letting your head fall towards the floor as we let our heart rate slow down, opening up the spine, the backs of the hamstrings. Down and up. All right, one more. And then go ahead and whatever way works best for you, you can make your way down to sit. All right, extend those knees, legs nice and long. Give them a pedal. And for our first 30 seconds of our core work, we're doing three exercises, only one time each. The first one, I'm gonna root my feet into the mat. And my challenge for you today is at no point throughout this exercise do I wanna see your toes lift off the floor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll as far back as we can, but remember, you gotta get yourself back up. And if I see this, you're cheating. Don't go back as far, okay? So it can be a small movement or you can go all the way down into your back. Consider this core play, okay? So 30 seconds, I'm starting my time now. There is no agenda here except keeping your toes down. So the rest of it is just an added bonus, seeing how far you can go, how well we can control our core. Good, keep squeezing those big toes in towards the floor. If you can make it all the way down, awesome. If not, it's a good thing to work towards. We'll always have hopefully at least one thing that you can work up towards. And if you've popped your toes under a couch or something, I'm not gonna tell you you're cheating, but you might be cheating like a little bit. <laughs> Good, last five seconds. Good, one more for three, two, and one. Everybody come up to sit. Let those knees open into butterfly stretch. Good, and then root the feet back into the floor. We're gonna make our way all the way down onto our back. And once you come down, legs up, hands behind the head, bicycles side to side, next 30 seconds. And you have two options here. You can either go for speed, if you're still really needing that speed, or slow motion, reaching elbow to knee and finding that contact with each one. So even within one exercise, it can be different purposes. All right, after this, we've got one more and then we get to stretch. Woo, elbows nice and wide, no building a cave. Yeah, I'm seeing some slow motion. I like that for right now. That's a good place to be. In three, we're gonna pull our knees into our chest and give ourselves a big hug before our final movement. We have two and one. Wrap your forearms around your shins, rock side to side. And then the last movement of the day, I'm gonna extend my legs up towards the ceiling. If you have tight hamstrings, keep a bend in your knees, that's cool. Now open your arms out to the sides like a T. So my challenge for you is to keep your ankles glued together and your shoulders rooted to the floor as you rock side to side. All the way over to one side and all the way over to the other side without letting your ankles spread apart or your shoulders lift. My time is going. So we're working our obliques, the sides of our abs, we're also actively rotating our spine side to side. Cool, Christy. Kyle's perfect. Nice. Good. In five, we're going to pull our knees into the chest, and then we go into stretch time. We have four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees in. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then release your left leg. Give the right leg a really big pulse in towards your body. Pull it in and hold. You guys stay here. I'm gonna explain why we're doing this. Our psoas muscle is actually the deepest muscle in our entire body. 
and it wraps from our spine to the front of our hips. So if we can stretch the deepest muscle in our body, it can usually provide a lot of relief. You can go ahead and switch sides, pull the left knee into the chest, extend the right leg, relax it onto the floor. Letting the shoulders relax here. So we're really only getting into the leg. And you might notice a little pull in your back. You guys might also notice a pinch in the front of your hip flexor. Uh, as long as it's not incredibly painful, either of those are fair game. These are all insertion points of the muscle. And, and then draw both knees into the chest, grab the backs of your thighs, and start to work the legs into a straightened and then a bent knee position, actively opening the hamstring. Good. And on this next one, pull your knees into the chest, rock and roll up to sit, and then make your way up to stand. I'm going to cross my right foot over my left. And then doing your best to keep the insides of your feet pressed against the floor, you're going to walk your hands down into a forward fold. And ideally, we're feeling this and then outside of our left leg, getting into our IT band, you can bend into the left knee a little bit. So you want to keep the, sorry, you can bend into the right knee, but you want to keep the left big toe rooted into the floor. And if it's all too confusing, just hang out like this. You're getting the stretch either way. Two more big breaths here. Each exhale, we hang a little bit deeper. We push our big toes into the floor. And then we come up to stand and switch sides. This time, left leg crosses over right. Then we walk our hands down our legs, however far we can go, letting the upper body hang. See if you can take a little bend into the left knee. And pressing your right big toe into the floor. And we'll take three more breaths here. When you're ready, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll up to stand. And once you come up, uncross the legs, give the hips a rock side to side. And reach the arms out to the side. Reach the arms up. Bring the palms together and give yourself a big round of applause. Good job, everyone. That was sweaty. <laughs> Feel free to unmute yourself and say hello. Uh, otherwise, we'll be back here, same time, same place tomorrow. Good job, everybody. I always take requests for specific parts you want to work or specific types of exercise you might want to explore. So use this as your time not only to work out, but also question, learn, grow together. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Bye. Till tomorrow. Go Gator. We kill it every time. Thank you. Bye.